A lot of people have trouble catching a horse. That's a subject for a whole nother day. One of the things you want to do when you go to get a horse is, and this is a real good way to keep them from running off if they're not necessarily inclined to, always approach their shoulder. All right? If you approach their head, remember they're animals that are meant to be eaten. So approaching them head on means attack, they want to run off. All you have to do, and you don't have to exaggerate it, believe me, horses know the difference. I'm just taking a bead on his shoulder, and they'll pretty much stay where they're at, okay? I'm always nice, I, I always, a little respect goes a long way. I don't just immediately grab him up, they, he stayed where he was, so I tell him, thank you. Thank you for letting me come up to you. We talked about how to put a halter on. That's not the first thing I'm going to do, because my horse can get away right now. Okay. First thing I usually do, make them know that yes, we really do need to stay here is, and it doesn't matter if I put the rope underneath or over the top. I'll just take the lead line and drop it over his neck. And for a trained horse, they pretty much know that's the deal. I'm, I'm hanging out. I'm staying. Now I go back to what I just showed you earlier. Take the pole piece, put it, I'm already holding the nose band. In my left hand, I just put the pole piece in my left hand as well. And if you have a horse that's being a little uncooperative, you've already got a hold of them. Little side note here, you'll notice most of the time I'm always at about a three-quarter angle. I always try to keep my feet slightly separated because if the horse bumps me, I'm not going to go down. If your feet are straight, right straight together, you don't have the balance that you do when they're just slightly apart. And I always try to keep my toes pointed so that if somebody takes a step, even if it lands on my toe, it's usually the very edge of it. Okay, so I have control of the horse this way. Everything is in the left hand. Remember the nose band and the pole piece. Arm over the top, left hand with everything underneath, grab the pole piece. Come on down, my horse is being just fine, his head is low. I've got this opened up. I think it would be very rude to just kind of have it all scrumped up and now I try to drag it up across his face like that. That's just kind of nasty, okay? So you won't catch me doing that. My apologies. See, now he's putting his head away. He's like, nah, that wasn't any fun. I don't think I want to do that. So open it up. See, now he's avoiding me. Instead of chasing him, I'm going to bring his head back down. All I did was rest my shoulder and my hand up here on this pole, my shoulder on his nose, and he comes right down. Now, the nose band is open. I'm holding it up with the right hand. It's a little tight below. I just slip my hand under, just like putting on your own clothes. Okay? And the horse is quite a happy boy. And you'll notice I'm not in his plane of forward motion. My feet are kind of pointed off and slightly separated. I go ahead, buckle it up. Remember to bring this piece back behind his jaw and then buckle it and don't put the halter on so loose that if he pulls back it's going to slip right over his ears. Okay? Nice and loose. Can you buddy take a step for me? About two to three fingers below this little note, um, below this little bone in his cheek. And we're good to go. Alright? Once again now, unhalter, this time we have the lead rope. Same thing. If we were, we're all done, uh, I guess what I can do right now is give you a little quick how to properly lead a horse. First of all, you notice that this is not looped, okay? I see people do this all the time. That loop, a horse runs off, and there go your fingers, okay? Never loop a rope. Put it over and over. Now, if the horse leaves, the loops come off. Your fingers are safe. Okay? That's number one. Now, back to leading your horse. I see people grabbing on for dear life, and there's no... Now, you see that? I didn't even... I did not ask, but horses are amazingly sensitive. And he's in training right now, so he's already learned that. And just the feel of me grab, putting a death grip on that made him drop his head. We'll talk about that a little more in a minute. But for just walking, you'll see me almost always, once I've taught a horse to lead, open hands, 
and I usually just have one or one finger or just an open hand. If I need to, I can close it. Believe me, they can feel. All right, so we go for a little walk. He doesn't understand what we're doing. It's like, we're not doing any work. Okay, we're all done and we're back out. Now you see how he's, he's with me and I'm not having a pull on him. This is why when I train people to train dogs, kind of keep a U shape in here. It also gives you the ability, if you needed to, you can always slide your hand up. See what I just did? I just picked this up and slid my hand up here. All right, so you can always move your hand up and down if you needed more control. All right, we're all done. Just everything in reverse. The lead rope goes up over his neck and enough underneath so that I have a hold of it here if I need to. Okay, I can hang on to it, especially if I have a horse that likes to take off. Notice my feet. I've kind of turned his head, otherwise I'd be back here. But they're off center and if I didn't have him turned for the camera, I'd be out of his plane because I'd be back here. We unbuckle, hold this. I can let go because I'm holding it up here, all right? Don't let it fall off his face. You don't have control. That signals to him that he can bolt. I come down here. I can kind of let go of the lead rope now if I want because now I've got control again here. Hand under the nose band. Control how it comes off from your right hand. Help it slip off. And now here he turns away a little bit. I can control him if I need to. I can take, remember this goes into the left hand. He's still not released. I've still got him. Same deal. Now my horse is released. Thank you. You are a very fine actor today. You did a wonderful job. No, no second takes required. If you knew how to bow, I'd have him bow.